Hey guys, Colticom here, and I'm creating this video today because I'm hoping it's gonna save you a lot of time. So if you are creating videos on YouTube and you wanna download those videos, maybe you're downloading your live video or you're downloading another video for a backup or to edit, and you go to YouTube and you click the download video button and you realize it's only giving you videos in 720p, but you uploaded in 1080p or 2K or 4K, then this method will work to getting the downloads to be in the same resolution which they were uploaded or streamed. Now this video is already covered by someone else. I'm recovering it to update some of the UI and also to give some tips that I think will help in this process um, a little easier. So let's jump into it. I have the link to the other creators video in the bio below though, if you wanna check that out. All right, so we're here on the desktop and I'm gonna open up Firefox. This is sort of the preferred uh, browser for this process, although it should work with any browser. If you don't have Firefox, it is free, so it doesn't cost you anything to get it. Uh, we are on the video that I'm trying to do this for, so I streamed this video in 1080p, and now I would like to download it to my computer so that I can make some more complicated edits that the YouTube built-in editor can't do. Otherwise, I would do it there. So we're gonna download this video. First thing that we wanna do is make sure that you are on your watch page for whatever video you are trying to download and go over to your settings for the video. Make sure that the quality is at the quality level that you're looking for. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the menu button here in Firefox. We're gonna go down to more tools and we're gonna go over to web developer tools. So the layout of that is a little different from the original video. Now what we wanna do is make sure, and mine's already set to this, but we wanna make sure that we are on the network tab and that we have media selected and only media selected. So if it doesn't populate right away and you're waiting and waiting, you can hit play on the video, let it play a couple seconds, and then hit that refresh button and bingo. So now we have some stuff populating. So this may get filled up with a bunch of very complicated looking stuff. It's really not that complicated. Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna grab basically two files from here. Now I can tell you right off the bat that the MP4 is gonna be the video file and we are going to be downloading this in MP4. And then the audio file is going to be probably this one here that just populated the 529 kilobyte file. It's a lot smaller. Audio files are typically smaller than their video counterparts. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to where this line of code is, right click on your mouse and then copy, copy URL. So we'll click that, we've got that copied to our clipboard. Now we're gonna open up a new tab and we're gonna go to zenpen.io. I have it bookmarked, but you can also type that in. Now this is basically just a web version of a notepad. So you can also use your notepad on your computer. Um, I am just happening to use this. And what we'll do is we will paste our text in here. So now we have the full URL of the audio file and we need to make one small change. We need to highlight from here through range all the way over to the next and sign. So we're gonna copy that and go all the way to where the next one is. Now the numbers may be different for you. We're gonna delete that out so that we still have the at rn. I know there's a different word for that sign, but. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna copy this whole thing, right click, open link in new tab. Now we did kind of get a messed up link, that's fine. It's not gonna show us anything that happens. Just do it a second time. And boom, here it is. So this is our full audio file. It's the audio file only. We'll get to the video here in a minute. 
but it is 100 and I mean 100 it's an hour and 43 minutes long so we know it's the full audio we're going to right click on the play track save audio as now I already have it saved in here it's going to save as a web media audio you may have to correct that later on but that's the only way to get it um, and it, it will work so I already have it downloaded so what you would do is pick where you would like to download the file and then give it a name. So I'll download this again. I'll call it live audio. And I'm just going to save it to my downloads. Go back to your watch video page. And this time we're going to grab the video. And the video is always going to be the larger file. So the file sizes that you see in mine are going to be different from in yours. But this is obviously the largest one of all of them here. So that's the video file. It also has the mp4 file type so again we'll go to right click copy copy url paste this in and then we'll grab that same spot just like that leave the other at sign or at sign and sign delete that out highlight the whole thing right click open a new tab this time we didn't get the error. We got the full 1080p version of our video. To save this, right click, save video as, and then save it as whatever you like. I'm gonna save it as live video and you can see I've actually already downloaded this. So we're ready to go. So you click save here. I've already saved it so I'm gonna click cancel. And now that will download to your folder that you selected. All right, now that both of our files have successfully downloaded, we'll open up our downloads and we have both live audio and live video saved in here. Just to double check that we did get the quality, we can select live video, right click, properties, details, and now we can see we were able to get 1920 by 1080. So that's the full resolution that it was uh, streamed in. We also got the full 60 frames per second. So we didn't lose any quality, at least from that standpoint. YouTube obviously does compress things. So there's a little bit of compression. So now all that you have to do is grab these two, throw them into a video editor and export it out. And you have your video combined back together in the full quality and that's all there is to it it's a little bit more of a complex way to download stuff hopefully youtube will give us the option in the future to just download in whatever the native resolution is of the video but until then this is a workaround for all of you creators who want to download your live videos or download videos you've posted in the past and be able to edit them in something a little more complex than youtube editor uh, can offer if this video was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. If you'd like to see the original creator's video, again, that's in the description of this video. Otherwise, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Give me a subscribe if you wanna see gaming content. Otherwise, I'm Colty Calm and I'm out of here.